It was a massive power grab. The EPA's regulators were putting people out of jobs by the hundreds of thousands. And regulations and permits started treating our wonderful small farmers and small businesses as if they were a major industrial polluter. They treated them horribly, horribly. If you want to build a new home, for example, you have to worry about getting hit with a huge fine if you fill in as much as a puddle, just a puddle on your lot. I've seen it. In fact, when it was first shown to me, I said, no, you're kidding, aren't you? But they weren't kidding. In one case in Wyoming, a rancher was fined $37,000 a day by the EPA for digging his small watering hole for his cattle, his land. These abuses were and are why such incredible opposition to this rule from the hundreds of organizations took place in all 50 states. It's a horrible, horrible rule. Has sort of a nice name, but everything else is bad. <laughs> I've been hearing about it for years and years. I didn't know I'd necessarily be in this position to do something about it, but we've been hearing about it for years. With today's executive order, I'm directing the EPA to take action, paving the way for the elimination of this very destructive and horrible rule. So I want to thank everybody for being here, and I will sign wherever I'm supposed to sign. There we are. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those people, so right. It's going to be a big difference. So, how important is this? Huge. They are huge. Yes, yes, yes. yes. For farmers, for ranchers, for people that make their living with the land, all over America. Thank you. This is putting people back to work. It's, it's getting a strong and healthy economy. And I'll tell you, John, you have the right man with Scott Crew. If you watch the job he does, he's yeah. strong. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.